Hi, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Minutia. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany, and today I'm doing a book haul. I said in my summer book bingo announcement that I was only going to buy books from local thrift stores this summer, and then I was rewarding myself monetarily for every bingo that I got on my summer book bingo board. Also, just a reminder, if you haven't participated in that yet, there's still time. It's through the end of August. I'll put the Instagram post that has all the rules in it down below as well as my original video. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, and I would love to have you join me. But anyways, I have held to that with one exception. <laughs> and I'll get to that once I get to that in the stack. Um, but I also had some really lovely subscriber friends who gifted me some books too. So I actually have a ton of books here, considering that I really haven't bought a lot of them. And they're all kind of like mixed together over here because I just kind of kept stacking books for a book haul. Um, so that way I could film it and then I could put them all away. So I literally have like stacks of books on the floor over here. So they're all kind of mixed together. So we'll just, we'll just go with it. Also, a few of these books were mentioned in a weekend reading vlog where I went thrifting. So a couple of these are going to be just a little bit redundant. Okay, I kind of lied. I do have one slight organizational thing here. And that is that I have all the history books in one stack. My husband is super big into history books, so most of these are for him, but I may read some of them. So the first one is this Story of World War II by Donald Miller, and there's a blurb on the front by David McCullough, which is why I got it. I don't know if it's like a legitimate regular book or if it's more like a textbook because it does have pictures interspersed. So I'm really not sure, but my library had books for 10 cents and that's where I got this. So I could totally justify spending 10 cents on it. Speaking of David McCullough, we also got The Wright Brothers by him. My husband really, really loves his books. I also got this Frederick Douglass book, which I have heard wonderful, wonderful things about. And this is more for me than it is for Peter, but it's a chunker. So I'm not really exactly sure when I'm going to get to it. And then I think, unless I missed one, the last history book over here is 1491. So this is just kind of about the world before Columbus's voyage. And then the same author also wrote 1493, which is kind of like the aftermath of Columbus and his expeditions. So my husband's been wanting to read this for a long time. So we were super excited when we found it for just a couple dollars. This next book, um, one of my subscriber buddies sent to me. Uh, and that was Jessica, who I also buddy read Lord Edgeware Dies, and she has a wonderful bookstagram account. So I'll link her account below so you can go check her out. But she sent me Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. I was talking about how I wanted to read this book with her because she was currently reading it. And she said she accidentally purchased two of them from thrift books. So she sent one of them to me, which was just so very kind. Thank you, Jessica. I'm really looking forward to reading this book with her. I have some classics here because it just wouldn't be me if I didn't have some classics in here. So I found The Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. I have at this point read four Hardy books, two that I loved, one that was fine and one that I didn't like. So for that, I feel like Hardy's still doing pretty good for me. <laughs> So, but I've heard wonderful things about The Return of the Native, but I have no idea what it's about in the back of this. doesn't have any information. So I'm not really sure, but I was really excited to find it. I also found Maul Flanders by Daniel Defoe. I have not read any Daniel Defoe yet, but I am reading Robinson Crusoe in September with Angie from Literary Labors. So we'll see how I feel about Defoe. But I've heard a lot of people say that Maul Flanders is their favorite Defoe. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. Then I also got My Antonia by Willa Cather. I thought it was My Antonia, but then someone said My Antonia. So I'm actually really not sure what it is. So feel free to correct me. Is it Antonia or Antonia? I'm really not sure. And I actually have no idea what this book is about at all. Um, but I have seen a lot of people who have very similar tastes to me in reading say that they really loved it. So I went ahead and picked it up. I also got 
this book, Brissinger, and this is part of the Aragon series, which I feel like that might not be the name of the series, but that's the first, the name of the first book, which they also made a movie out of. So I feel like a lot of people know about Aragon. Um, and I think this is book three in the quartet. I think that's what someone told me when I mentioned this book in my reading vlog. So I've not yet read Aragon, but I want to at some point, and this book was like, I think it was like 70 cents, something like that. So I went ahead and picked it up. I was also really excited because I found this picture book and I don't, I don't buy a lot of picture books anymore. Claire sometimes reads picture books, but she's kind of aging out of them, which is kind of sad because I still really love reading picture books. But most of the time she would prefer to read chapter books now. So it's okay. <laughs> this was mostly for me, but it's Sam Bangs and Moonshine. I got this for 25 cents and I was so thrilled about it. This is a book that I remember reading at my grandparents' house when I was a child and I was really excited to find it, much less for such a good price. And I texted my mom about it and she had this book as a child. So, which makes sense because it was in my grandparents' house. <laughs> but I was just really excited to find it. It's about a girl named Sam. And then Bangs, I think, is her cat. And she likes to tell a lot of tale tall tales, aka moonshine. So that's what it's about. And I love the illustrations a lot. So um, I really loved this book as a kid. And I'm going to make Claire listen to it whether or not she wants to. Just kidding, I won't force her, but I was really thrilled to find it. I also found this book about Leonard Bernstein at our library. And again, our library books are 10 cents. So that was a really good find. The glare, sorry. Um, I don't really know anything about Leonard Bernstein, he's a composer, but this series, we read a book about Tchaikovsky in this series and it kind of has little like comic type things in it that are funny um so i went ahead and picked this one up and figured we could use him for a composer study at some point also in my library they had like this lovely set of old books and i didn't want all of them but i did want some of them so this one is all like plutarch which we will do for homeschooling at some point and we'll sign online calls for plutarch i believe beginning in fifth grade maybe could be wrong but that would be next year for us um so yeah so this has like all kinds of different Plutarch in it this one is Milton so it has Paradise Lost it also has Samson Agonistes I'm probably saying that wrong and another one that I don't even know how to pronounce it Areopagitica I don't know it's right there. <laughs> so this one has multiple Milton in it. And then this last one is Dante and has Dante's Inferno in it. So I was really excited to find those because they were only 10 cents each and they're really, really pretty. So it's always a win. Okay, so my next massive stack of books comes from a subscriber friend, Dia. I think that's how I say your name. Could be Dea, but I'm pretty sure it's Dia. And she was getting rid of a whole bunch of children's books. And she was so sweet and FaceTimed me and like went through and asked which ones I wanted. And then she sent them to me for Claire. And it was just so kind. So thank you so much, Dia. Here are the books that she sent me. So most of them are children's mystery series that I hadn't heard of, but Claire really loves mysteries. So I figured I'd give them a try. The first one is called The Accidental Detective Mysteries. And she sent me all of these. <laughs> So I'm not going to go through all the individual titles, but they're all old children's mysteries and I think Claire will really like them. She also sent me another children's mystery series and this one is a Christian one. I don't know if the other one is. This one is and it's Global Air Troubleshooters and it's by Jerry B. Jenkins. So there's three in this series. And then also this other mystery series called Twin Pursuits by Jeanette Wendell and these are all about some twins who solve mysteries. She also sent me these little house books. Now these are part of the Rocky Ridge years, which I think is all um, about Rose. 
yeah, which is Laura Ingle Wild Laura Ingalls Wilder's daughter. So I had one or two of them, but she sent me the other ones that she had. So these are not written by Laura Ingalls Wilder. These ones in particular are written by Roger Leah McBride. Um, but then there are some about Laura Ingalls Wilder's mother and grandmother, and I believe that those are written by different people. So we have a few that we've just found here and there at thrift stores, but I'm pretty sure this like rounds out our rose collection. So it has New Dawn on Rocky Ridge, in the land of the big red apple, little town in the Ozarks, and little house on Rocky Ridge. And then we have just a few miscellaneous, these are not part of a series, books that Dia sent me. So we have The Velvet Room, which I love, like this vintage cover, it's super cool. And then Claire was really excited, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, this was a read aloud that we did last year and it was one of Claire's favorites and she still references it all the time. It's super funny, super adventurous. Also, it's written by Ian Fleming, who is the creator of James Bond, which is super funny. So this is his uh, espionage type adventure um, attempt at a children's book, and it's really fun. This is another mystery, and this is the mystery of the haunted pool. And she also sent me Irish Red, which I believe this is like part, I don't know if it's part of a series, um, but it's by the same author who wrote Big Red, which I haven't read. So excited to get to this one at some point. And lastly, Ivanhoe, which I have not read anything by Sir Walter Scott, but I want to at some point. And I almost picked up a copy of Ivanhoe at a Goodwill a few years ago and didn't. And since then have realized that it was actually on our reading list for Ambleside Online in later years. And so I was really bummed out that I didn't pick it up. And then Dia was so sweet and sent it to me. So I was really excited about that. So that was my uh, massive stack that was just from Dia. She sent me so many books and it was so, so very kind of her. So thank you again, Dia. I have a couple more thrifted books here. I think I mentioned some of these in my thrift haul that I did in a reading vlog, but I can't remember which ones I did. <laughs> It's all a blur, you know? So I got That Was Then, This Is Now by Essie Hinton. This is the same author who wrote The Outsiders and I loved that. I read that earlier this year and it's one of my favorites of the year so far. And I have not even heard of this one, but I've since talked to a few of you who say that um, some of the characters from The Outsiders actually make cameos in this book. So that makes me really excited to read it. I also got The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. I have read this a couple of years ago and loved it. So I was super excited when I found this. It's a really good translation. It's actually a different translation than the one that I read because when I read it, I was not very discriminating as far as researching translations at all. I just kind of requested whatever from my library and read it. So I'm excited to reread this at some point in what I think will be a better translation than the one I read it in. I only have one of these right now, Guardians of Cahool, because my daughter has hijacked the others. We have the first book of this. It's by Catherine Lasky, a series by her. I don't know how many books there are total in it. I think my daughter said like 12 or 14 or something like that. I can't remember for sure, but we had gotten the first one a while ago and she had read it and loved it. And now we have found books two through eight this past month at thrift stores, which was really, really exciting. So this one's book eight. She has the other ones probably in her room or something, but I was really happy to find it because our library system here is not the greatest. Um, we live in a r very rural county and the main library does have quite a bit of books but the interlibrary loan is only for our county. And where we lived in Illinois, it was basically the whole Southern half of the state that we could borrow from. So there was a lot of options and you could find almost every book that you wanted. Here in Kentucky, it's not the same thing. The interlibrary loans is only for our county. So there's one library that has a lot of books and then like three or four other very tiny libraries that have almost no selection. So it's been a lot harder to find books that we want to read, particularly older books. Um, and this is not a newer series. It's from the early 2000s, I believe. So yeah, so I was really happy to find these because our library does not carry them. And 
Claire would not have been able to continue the series otherwise. I also got this survivor's book by her by Erin Hunter. Erin Hunter is actually like a collection of people who write books. <laughs> they wrote a whole series called Warriors. It's all about warrior cats, which is super fun. And Claire was obsessed with them for the whole first half of this year. And she's read through all of those and she's moving into Survivors, which is about packs of dogs rather than cats. So she's not enjoying these as much as Warriors, but we did find this for like 50 cents. So I told her she could have it. I was also really excited to find the Saturdays. I did mention this on my reading vlog. I remember that. I love Elizabeth and Wright. Claire and I just recently read Thimble Summer and so many of you love the Melendi Quartet and recommended that to me. This is book one in the Melendi Quartet and I was so 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 excited to find it at a thrift store because again this is a book series that my library has nothing by Elizabeth and Wright at all so I was really excited. And then my last book is the book where I broke my promise not to purchase anything except from thrift stores because all these other books over here I did not spend very much money at all on except for a few of the historical books that I found at the Peddler's Mall those were still under ten dollars but I think like the Frederick Douglass one was I don't know like eight dollars or something and then the David McCullough one I think was like six or something which is still cheaper than book outlets prices but way more than I typically spent on books when I go out thrifting but all the other books were like three dollars and under. This book I paid full price for <laughs> um and it's Les Mis. <laughs> I am reading this book as part of a read-along this month and I this book has been one I have been wanting to conquer for years and years and I have started it a few times over the past 10 years and just kind of gotten burnt out and not continued it. I quit it pretty soon in the book but I had already determined this was going to be the year that I was going to read this book and then I found out there was a read along this summer which was perfect. So I was so excited about it. I had, I'll show you. I've had this copy from Barnes & Noble for years and years and years and I had never picked up this copy. The only time I had tried to read it was on Kindle a couple of times. And so I started this one and I was like, wow, this first chapter is a lot shorter than I remember. And then I looked at it. It's abridged. I was like, what is the point of conquering a book that is a bridge? And this one's so thick, which is hilarious because I think this copy is like around 800 pages. So I had to buy an unabridged copy and I had heard wonderful things about this translation by Christine Donaher. And this copy is really, really pretty, you guys. I'm not mad about the fact that I bought it. It's got deckled edges. It has like, it's a French flaps. And then it's got these amazing illustrations on the front. I love the back even more because it has all the characters labeled. And then even the spine is so pretty. So I'm not mad that I bought it, but I kind of like needed to buy it. So that's the only one that I have spent more than a couple dollars on. So that is my book haul for July. And for someone who said they weren't gonna get very many books this summer, I sure ended up with a lot of books. But again, some of them were gifted to me and some of them were for my husband and the rest were really, really cheap except Light Mist. So that is my book haul. I will probably not have another book haul until um, September, which is my birthday month and the month I will be gifting myself money for all my bingos, um, hopefully. I have quite a few bingos right now. I only have one, but I have a few almost bingos. So we'll see. Let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of these books and if you have, which ones you have loved and you think I should prioritize. And also what have been some of your great book finds lately? As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and also subscribe so you can continue seeing bookish content from me and I will see you again next time.